Hey, we're getting ready to go look at Pulte's new Remington community. We're gonna tour the Stellar model home and it is stellar. You're not gonna believe this master bedroom. It is large, it has tall ceilings, it has tons of natural light, it has a well-designed bathroom, and just wait until you see the closet space. It is to die for. Follow me now. Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team bringing the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Uh, today we're at Pulte's new Remington subdivision and we're going to walk through their model home which is the Stellar. This is a, uh, they've got it set up today as a two bedroom, two and a half bath and uh, you're really going to love the 10 foot ceilings and the three car garage uh, but wait until you see the closets. Okay, we're inside. Uh, we're starting out on this 2,421 square foot ranch. Yeah, really nice big entry with attractive uh, doorways here. Right to your left, real nice office space. I mean, they even got this set up with uh, a double desk. If we uh, go to the right, you got a nice size bedroom. Decent window, good closet, 10 foot ceilings really make it look bigger. Bedrooms are carpeted, I like that. And it has its own private bathroom. T nicely tiled shower, quartz or granite countertop, not sure which. Got a coat closet right here for your guests. And then we're into the main living area. Got this huge island here, farm sink. Great view of uh, the entire gathering room. Those 10 foot ceilings and the tray ceiling, it uh, really gives a good height. Lots of windows here. Still got a few walls to put some stuff up on. You can come over here to your uh, dining area, which is just super handy. Nice windows on it. There's room here for a hutch or a corner cabinet, as you would like. Easy access to the uh, patio, so you can grill very easily here and bring it right into the dining room table or the, uh, the island. Nice size yard. Kitchen counter has uh, overhang so you can get four stools in there. Makes that nice for mornings. Got a uh, nice backsplash on this. Soft clothes cabinets. You got a gas cooktop, my favorite. Um, anybody who cooks with gas never wants to go back to electric. Dishwashers tucked underneath. You've got uh, stainless steel KitchenAid cabinets. Over here we've got uh, microwave oven and convection. Check this out. Boy, that's a big pantry. Lots of room there. Set it up as you want. Refrigerator with uh, ice maker. And then we'll go over here first. Get your utilities in here. You got a powder room right off the garage entry. A big linen or storage closet. It's your garage door entry right there. It's the builder's office right now, but you got a real nice laundry room, ironing boards, laundry sink, cabinetry. Here you could put in uh, like a seat with you know, hooks for book bags and uh, coats and gloves and mittens and that type of thing. There's another coat closet so you can put your stuff in there and save the other one for guests. This is a, a Pulte model and Pulte's been in business since 1950. They're the third largest home builder in the United States. And one of the things I really like about them is uh, Forbes year in and year out picks them as one of the best places to work. And when it comes to construction, boy, that is a godsend. You don't have people that hate you working on the job site and doing all sorts of stupid stuff that uh, 
really creates problems and dissatisfaction down the road for the home buyer. So that's a real feather in their cap. Come in here to the master bedroom and check this out. This is really large, lots of windows, nice accent wall, got a big 10 foot ceiling. I mean, this has got a king, and two nightstands, and a dresser and a wing chair, and it just looks like there's, you can, this is a field in here, you know? There's plenty of room for whatever else you wanted in here, um, or just to make it feel that way. So, we look over here, we're gonna come into uh, the master bathroom. You've got a very large and nicely appointed master bedroom closet super double vanity plenty of counter space A linen closet commode closet really nice tiled shower you got the rainforest uh, you have the rainforest spigot as well as the wall. Uh, I love the fact that the uh, seat is at this end, so it makes more sense and you can use it. It's got a nice soap tray. Uh, it's got the two windows here that uh, really open it up, but it's nice and wide to begin with. Really nice. Can't beat that. And we got another door here. Oh my Lord. Look at this. If the other one wasn't big enough, what do you think about this? This is so big, or they're both so big. Heck, you could turn this into a workout room. You could pop a window in there and make this an office. You can make it a nursery. Um, hey, this is really nice. So you can see why I said this is the closet house. Okay, builders, you know, oftentimes have incentives. Right now, Pulte's running real nice incentive on the uh, this uh, subdivision, the Remington subdivision, you get uh, $25,000 of flex spend, and plus you get another $5,000 towards your closing costs or buy your rate down. Uh, so it's a nice package. Can't argue with that. Take one more look here at the main living area. It's where you're gonna spend your time. Just really nicely done. Nice feel too. Okay, really nice features in there with a to die for uh, closet situation. Heck, the entire master bedroom, just really, really nice. And uh, the main living area, that gathering room and the kitchen, uh, really nicely well done on their part. So the ticket on this uh, 2,421 square foot ranch that you can actually bump up to over 5,000 square feet with a basement and an 800 square foot loft, 5,000 plus square feet. But the starting ticket on this is 530, 990. Now, if you'd like to see this or uh, talk to a rep about uh, possibility of latching onto one of these lots, good lots do go fast. They're just like houses. So if you are interested, uh, by all means, give me a shout. We'll set it up, uh, an appointment for you to come in and uh, walk around, take a look. No pressure, no obligation, no cost, but they are good lots are moving fast. Hey, Zill didn't name Indianapolis the number four hottest housing market in America for nothing. Now, let's go take a look at those lots that are available. Just a couple doors down from the model, we're going to take a quick walk along here, show you some of the houses that have been built and some of them that are under construction uh, currently. You know, I started as a contractor, uh, pounding nails and running crews on jobs like this, and uh, it gave me a lot of experience. Also, the time that I was a construction lender certainly did as well. Um, it gives me some insight into problems that can occur on new construction jobs that uh, maybe other realtors do not have. And I'm not really talking about Pulte here. They're an excellent builder. Uh, but nevertheless, things do happen on construction jobs. And when it, the most important thing is, it's not only that I can recognize that there's a problem, but I'm the only person in the transaction that by law has to represent the buyer. It's uh, my fiduciary duty and it's the law and hey, it's what I would do anyways, but it can make a lot of difference. 
I see builders try and force people onto different lots at different prices. I see uh, the construction lagging. Uh, maybe there's a valid reason, maybe there's not, but I can help get it to the bottom of it and understand what's going on. One of the things is that the typical purchase agreement for an existing house is about eight pages, but for new construction, it's anywhere from 40 to 50 pages, and heck, I've seen 80 pages. So, I mean, that's just really crazy. And you don't know what you don't know. So it's something that I can help out with, uh, help guide you through that part of the process as well, the construction process, and make sure that it runs on time and you get what you wanted and that you're a happy camper. Bottom line is I'm a difference maker, and I'll be your advocate. So some problems are not so big, but you just don't ever know. Sometimes it's just that the contractor's not meeting their schedule, but hey, I had one deal where this was out in Colorado, but <laughs> the builder built over the property line. That was a hard one to solve, but we did get it done. Listen, there's good reasons why over half of my business is repeat business. I work harder to make good things happen. So before you walk through a model home on a Sunday afternoon, give me a quick call or text. I'll set up the meeting for you. Uh, the builder will actually pay my fee to represent you. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, they're not going to give you a discount if you don't use it. And so it just makes sense that you have somebody that's representing you in the entire transaction because the mortgage company works for the builder, the title company works for the builder, and the builder, hey, they work for the builder, you know? So, hey, I can help you out. Now, if you're interested in a lot, their build this suit is about... Uh, oh five to six months at the most right now and this lot here that we're looking at they actually have this one permitted and this one could be you could be in in less than four months and you would get to this is going to be a stellar just the same one as we walked through at the model and you get to pick all your options go through the design center and all that so it really truly is almost like a custom home for you now that four five six month process um, gives you time to get your house ready gives us time to get it sold for you and uh, we'll do that for the most money in the quickest fashion and with the least hassle hey we have a free room by room analysis we'll walk your house with you give you some insights into how you can make money and how you can save money yes save money by not spending money on doing things that you really just don't need to do that they won't make you any more money when you come this time to sell your house there's no cost and no obligation for that Like I said, good lots like good houses, they go fast. If I can be of service, give me a call. The Remington community is just really in the middle of everything. There is so much to do and there are so many amenities, it's just crazy. So gonna take you through a, a little tour of what it's all about, okay? From an access standpoint, you've got I-69, the interstate right here, rolls into uh, I-465, which is the Beltway, and that will take you anywhere in the metro area. It's also just oh, a half a mile or a mile away from State Road 37, which will take you all the way downtown in about 40 minutes. 146 will take you all the way across East West where you wanna go over to Noblesville or Carmel or Westfield. Uh, 116th will pretty much do the same. 96 kind of runs the border with Indianapolis. And uh, so you've got good access both north, south, and east, west, and kind of cutting across it as, as well. From a job standpoint, you've got out here on 69, you've got distribution centers. Along 37, you have some manufacturing up here, maybe a little down here towards the Beltway. Uh, tons and tons of retail opportunity. Healthcare, plenty of healthcare jobs. Uh, it's one of the top four employers, in fact along with uh, the educational system just a ton of schools and they're good schools and so uh, they pay well and a lot of uh, employment opportunities there as well okay let's talk schools the new britain is the elementary school it's just about a mile away from uh, remington and it is an a-rated school by niche.com in fact it is the number 33 ranked uh, public elementary school in the entire state and that's a half a mile away through the woods and then uh, right over here this is probably about a oh 10 minute drive you have Riverside uh, Intermediate School and Junior High School they're both rated a 
uh, A as well. And then you have Fishers High School, which is so uh, probably 10 minutes away as well. It is A rated and it is the number 11 ranked high school in the state. Uh, the entire school system is ranked number eight out of 290 school systems in the entire state. You have some uh, private uh, options. The Catholic schools are a little far away. Guerin Catholic is probably about a half an hour and it's one of the top five or in the top 5% of all Catholic schools in the country. You have Cathedral down at uh, 56th Street, which is an A-plus rated high school. And then you have Heritage Christian just uh, around the Beltway there, and it is an A-rated school. And then there are a lot of private elementary schools as well. Okay, healthcare is another thing that people are always concerned about. We're sitting right here. You've got a, an emergency right here with Riverview. They also have a hospital up here and another emergency uh, room over here. Um, there are hospitals here in the community system up here on 146 as well as down on the Beltway and then you have uh, IU Health at Saxony Village and you have the community um, or Ascension St. Vention out, out here as well. So lots of uh, hospitals and uh, plenty of medical offices around those, you know, orthopedic and specialty uh, physicians and uh, physician groups and all those types of things. Surgery centers are clustered around the hospitals. Fishers has a great park system. Um, I'm gonna share with that with you on, a, on another video. But today I wanna to talk about golf courses. I asked my uh, stepson and one of his former college teammates to give me the top golf courses in the uh, city of Fishers and they both gave me the same two. One of them is here at River Glen, which is uh, oh, <laughs> three minutes away. And then down here at Ironwood, which is probably about seven minutes away. And I'm gonna take you by those later today and we're gonna stop in at them. There's also Top Golf right here, which is a great entertainment place that's golf centric, and that's probably, oh, seven minutes away. There are lots of things to do regardless of age. Um, all you have to do is think about all the different retail uh, stores and uh, strip centers and all that type of thing that's within 20 minutes, and there's more doors than you can walk through in a lifetime. Talk about entertainment. Uh, the event center is new. In fact, it won't open until around this time next year. It will seat 8,500 people and be home of the Indy Fuel minor league hockey team, but we'll have all sorts of different uh, performances, music, theater, all that type of thing. From a music standpoint, the Nickel Plate Amphitheater is right here. It's literally five minutes away. We're gonna stop in there later today, as well as Connor Prairie, which is a regional attraction up here which again is oh, five minutes away. And then there's Ruoff Music Center, which oh, sits up about here. And it is uh, phenomenal. We'll stop in there a little bit later too. Okay, we'll wrap this uh, map tour up with a uh, little shopping and restaurants. Basically, you have shopping, huge concentration up here on 37, all your big box stores. You have real good, uh, outdoor walking mall here at Hamilton Down Center. You got another one over here at Clay Terrace. You got another one here at the yard. Um, down here along the Beltway, there is all kinds of shopping malls and shopping centers. Uh, restaurant wise, one of my very favorites is right here at 116th and Allisonville, that is Psalms. And uh, heck, my stepson worked there when he was in high school and college and I started going there and it's, we're still going there. It's just it's real good food there. Uh, they have a, their own brewery, which is the Big Lug. They always have an assortment of really good craft beers. And then you can go over here to the yard, which like I said, is you know five, six minutes away. I'll give you, we're gonna stop in there, do a little tour, and I'll give you my three favorite restaurants in there. They're really out of sight. And then up here at Hamilton Town Center, uh, we'll take a look at a couple more and there's a couple up there I really, really recommend to you as well. And then here in the Nickel Plate area, there's a bunch of uh, restaurants and pubs too. So there are plenty of opportunities. So we're gonna stop in, I'm gonna show you around. Okay, if you'd like to learn more about uh, the city of Fishers real estate or new construction homes anywhere in the greater Indianapolis area or walk through a home that maybe you've seen advertised, text me or book a call. Okay, let's jump into Tahoe and go for a ride. So if you're considering moving to Fishers, Indiana, you'll want a copy of our free relocation guide. 
My staff and I have put together the ultimate relocation guide just for folks like you. Get your copy now. Hey, let's talk golf. Fishers has been ranked by one golf magazine or another as the number two most underrated golf community in the entire United States. So I asked uh, my stepson Seve and one of his former college teammates, which were the best golf courses in Fishers? And they both independently came up with the same two names, River Glen and Ironwood. We're gonna take a tour of both of them uh, in just a second here. It's a uh, breezy day in February and uh, while it's pretty comfortable, the course is closed because it's wet right now and they're trying to get it into shape. But uh, this course is really pretty. They call it uh, nature's course. It sits along the White River and um, it is a really delightful course to play. I'm gonna walk around here and see what we can see. Got 18 holes here plus a driving range. They have uh, men's, women's, and junior leagues. They also have a very nice large pool and pool memberships. Uh, they also have a lot of event space here. They do banquets. In fact, uh, years ago when I ran a mortgage company, we used to do our uh, celebration uh, breakfast meetings here. Very nice. Uh, there's three memberships. There's a regular, a junior, and a family fun, which includes the pool. But just standing here, you can really see just how pretty this course is. Nice big deck up there. Just Look out over all of this. Really beautiful. River Glen Country Club. Okay, I'm at Ironwood Golf Club in uh, Fishers, Indiana, and it is the end of February, and look at that parking lot. It is full of golfers out playing. How cool. They've got a driving range. Nice. Lots of woods, water. And then over here, uh, they've got a 27-hole course. Wines all over the place, very pretty, good course to play on, well maintained. They uh, have a variety of leagues, uh, a full junior program with leagues, camps uh, for kids all the way from five and up. They've got uh, the driving range and lessons, and they have memberships for uh, singles, family, junior, senior, and young professionals, so take your pick. And then up there at the clubhouse, they also have some banquet facilities. This is uh, a course that if you move to Fishers, Indiana, you just might want to play. While we're talking golf, let's talk top golf. Uh, this is a Tuesday afternoon in February, and the parking lot still has a good number of cars, but this will fill up and uh, be crazy about half the time. Inside, they've got a hundred climate-controlled bays, and this is more like going bowling than it is playing golf. I mean, you don't have to have your own clubs. It's like uh, when you go to the bowling alley, and yeah, there's some people that walk in with all the official gear, and they've got their own ball and bag and all that, and shoes. But, uh, you know, the rest of us go in there, pick a ball out, stumble to the uh, lane, and uh, throw it down there. Well, here at Top Golf. Um, it's kind of the same. You don't have to have your own clubs. Uh, there's no cost to rent them. Uh, they have all sorts of events and you can see the bays here from the outside and then uh, out there into the hitting area. The uh, balls are uh, high tech and they score for you. They do all kinds of events and games. And uh, one of the neat things is there's like a bar and a restaurant. There's 200 TV scattered throughout. And uh, there's even uh, fire pits up on top of the uh, rooftop terrace. So this is great for uh, old birthday parties and uh, other kinds of get togethers. Uh, companies uh, do outings here. Uh, it's a lot of fun and you know, you get to hit a bucket of balls and if you don't want to hit the whole bucket, somebody else will hit yours and uh, you can sit down and drink. Hey, it's a good time one way or another. Okay, let's talk music. I'm at the uh, Nickel Plate Amphitheater in Fishers, Indiana. This uh, facility seats 6,000 people, lawn style seating. They have a full slate of different kinds of music throughout the summertime and fall. Uh, something for everybody. One of the nice things is you can eat at one of the local uh, restaurants, come watch the show, enjoy it, and then go finish the night off at a local pub. Hey, this is a ticket you might want to score. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year-round. They have a variety of activities, uh, including hot air balloons and uh, oh, the 
what is this, uh, 150 or 200, 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's February and we're not gonna get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime, they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie. And the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July. They had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun. And when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage. And hey, it's a good time, it really is. I know people that have like tickets for the whole season, all 12 nights. I usually make it out once, maybe twice at the most, but uh, hey, I have a busy summer, so, but hey, it is a good time. Okay, let's uh, finish our music tour with uh, the cream de la cream, uh, let's go look at Ruoff Music Center. Now, it's February and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here, but at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. You've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even. And uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles. You can tailgate, you can walk right in. And then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early. You can stay till the very end. You catch the encore, you walk out. It's five minutes to get out of the parking lot. And you're another, what, two, three, five minutes home? Hey, it's a great time. Okay, there's definitely loads of opportunity when it comes to golf and music. But uh, let's shift gears here just a bit and let's go take a look at all the shopping and restaurants that there are in this area. There are a ton and there are some really, really good ones. Uh, near the end, I'm gonna give you my three faves at uh, the yard and uh, we'll talk about a couple that I really love up at Hamilton Town Center. Follow me now. We're getting ready to head into the yard and I wanted to stop just on the outskirts here. This is Portillo's. And uh, I'm not a big fast food guy, but this is a place I make exceptions for. When I was in high school uh, in Chicagoland, these were little hot dog carts on the corner. And we would go there at the end of the night and get a Chicago dog or an Italian sa uh, sausage sandwich or their big beef. And uh, boy, I think they're the best in the world. I like my uh, big beef with sweet peppers and I like it dipped. Try it. We're coming into the yard, which is a recent development, maybe in the last five years. Uh, lots of restaurants, uh, other shops as well. Uh, this is the Hamilton uh, County Tavern and Kitchen. It is a Hughes Culinary property. They are fabulous, all of them. Make a little right here on the cobblestone street. You've got uh, some upscale apartments up above, some different uh, types of shops like uh, Oh, uh, Hot Sauna and Athletic Annex. Over here you have Rise, which is an excellent uh, breakfast place. You have Kincaid's Meat Market, which uh, goes back for many, many decades. Some salons, you've got a winery, you've got Slapfish, you've got a Mexican cantina here on the corner. And right here you have one of my very favorites, which is San Giovese. It's one of the better Italian places around. They have good lasagna. They have maybe the best chicken parm in the entire city. Uh, over here you have Sun King Brewery. Uh, everybody loves their uh, cream ale. You've got the Test Kitchen. And then over here 
we have the Havana Cigar Lounge, if you're into that, and then the 1933 Lounge, and the 101 Beer Pump. And there's a few others too. Um, the 1933 Lounge is interesting. It's another Hughes Culinary uh, property. And you can notice up there on the sign, it says 1933 Lounge by St. Elmo. Well, St. Elmo is uh, the most famous steakhouse in the city. It opened in 1902. People from all over the country uh, eat there when they're in town. All the, you find all the celebrities and sportscasters and all of that. Um, it was named because uh, during the Prohibition years, there was a speakeasy above St. Elmo's. And uh, so this property right here, the 1933 Lounge, is modeled after the uh, a speakeasy. My wife and I ate there the other night for Valentine's Day. It was great. They have to die for shrimp cocktail, uh, prime steaks, and I had a slab of prime rib that was just fabulous. Um, hey, it's something you might want to check out. Here, it's got a, just a really wide variety of shops and really good restaurants, and in the areas surrounding uh, as well. So, tons and tons of uh, retail shops and uh, food places and what have you. You've got uh, livery here, which is, oh, I'd call upscale Mexican. It's a Cunningham property, and all of their restaurants are great. You've got Ford's Garage, which has uh, oh, really good burgers. And it's kind of interesting, fun place, uh, the way some of their marketing and, and just little things like uh, napkins and, oh, different things that they do inside that really are kind of interesting make it kind of fun you have a total wine for all your uh, beer and wine needs you can't find it there I'm not sure you can find it anywhere over here you got DSW and Ben's Warehouse and oh, just all sorts of different places. I'm gonna take a ride down this little street. Very walkable. You got an old navy here. You got Lita Express, K Jewelers, Victoria's Secret, Soma. Fun place to shop. More shopping than I can do. Through 21, finish line. American Eagle over here. Five guys. Yats. The Three Dog Bakery. My wife spends too much money there. Up on the corner here we have uh, Pies and Pints. Pretty good pizza, real good salads. Over here is Stone Creek, another Cunningham property, one of my more favorite restaurants. And right in front of us is Dick's Sporting Goods. So just all kinds of uh, opportunity here to satisfy your retail and dining pleasure. Got a big movie theater to go along with it. Turning left into this first subdivision at Town and Country, you've got a Walmart and a Kohl's and some fast food places and oh, a rent -a center and just uh, a whole lot more. This has, you know, the usual array of uh, uh, shops or stores. You got a lot of big box stores here, Dollar Tree, Staples. You got a GameStop and a uh, Great Clips, GNC, just, you know, about whatever you want. And we're coming up here on a big Walmart. 
Got a white castle there for your midnight dining pleasure. You got all the fast food outlets. You got a steak and shake, another bank. Jimmy John's and Starbucks. Over here we have Aldi's, which uh, seems to be hot right now. Another strip center. Subway, nail spas. And we're coming up on Pleasant Street. The uh, post office will be off to the left. You've got some county buildings. Now we're going to be into another strip center. We're looking at the back of Tractor Supply, another big box store. Kind of fun to go in there sometimes, even if you're not a farmer. Got a Walgreens on the corner. It's Salvation Army Family Store. Hobby Lobby. Big Pet Supply Plus, another dentist, Aaron's Furniture, and you got the BMV. Always good to know where the BMV is. They actually run a um, pretty good operation. Uh, BMVs used to be atrocious in Indiana, but uh, lately, of uh, the last 10 years, have really come around. And now you've got an at home decorating superstar. Um, there's just so many places I could keep going and there's there's more uh, I'm gonna turn around and go on the other side of the road now and show you what's over there okay we're crossing back over uh, State Highway 37 and we're on Pleasant Street coming into a whole nother strip center T-Mobile another bank you've got uh, Kalo's uh, Jeep Chrysler Dodge over here okay we're coming up on Best Buy Seems I gotta go here all the time for something technical. It's usually a pain, not because of Best Buy, because maybe I don't know what I'm doing. At any rate, here's a Pet Smart. And it's just one big box store after another. We've got the Shoe Carnival. And then we've got Home Goods. Hey, and TJ Maxx now my kind of store and then you got a Ross and a Barnes and Noble so just one right after another and we're not done because we're coming up to some of the bigger ones we've got Meyer here there's a Meyer gas station across the street there's also a crew car wash over there if you're not from the area, you'll want to get to know Crew Car Wars. Great operation. I'm going to leave there, drive across the street, see if we can drive by the front of this door without having to stop and spend some money. And here we are at Lowe's. I spend enough here. I have not one, but two credit cards. Just teasing. One's for business, one's for house. And as we come out of here, there's still another couple stores. There's an LA Fitness, there's a big Goodwill store. Uh, they do have an open there. Uh, you don't see too many of those around here, but uh, Hey, there are just so many shopping opportunities along here. Hey, be sure to tune in every Tuesday. We do a tour of new construction homes and the communities and builders uh, that are building them. And then on Thursday, we do a tour of existing homes that are for sale in the surrounding neighborhoods. And then on Saturday, we do a piece on uh, living in Indiana, what it's all about. Uh, whether you're buying or selling, be sure to give me a call because I work harder to make good things happen. Hey, if you found this helpful, you're gonna love this next video. Watch it right now.